Um, well, first of all, my name is Stephanie Donovan. I am a practitioner um, for the Child Youth Mental Health Program and I'm in a designated Aboriginal position, which in that role it um, provides Aboriginal clients with an option to have an Aboriginal worker um, if they feel comfortable. Um, but it also, um, a, 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 another part of my role is to, um, to educate staff on, um, on Aboriginal cultural protocols. Um, if, they're, if they need help with engaging Aboriginal clients and services, then I can um, uh, tell staff and educate them on how to go about that. Okay, just one of the biggest things that I do tell our staff um, when they come to me asking questions about how they can be culturally safe or culturally appropriate working with Aboriginal people is to ask because the biggest thing is that even though I'm an Aboriginal um, worker and a person, um, my experience is different to somebody who is from Tasmania and it's some, different to people who are from all over Australia. So my, so just ask and, um, and just understand that um, uh, when it comes to mental health with Aboriginal people, it's more of a holistic view. So it, it, there's a lot of connection to self, to country, to family, to community, and that all plays a part in mental health for Aboriginal people. So any one of those, if there's a disconnect within any one of that, it can have an impact on Aboriginal mental health. What I love most about my role is getting to work with the young people and um, creating resources that, um, that can help so that they've got something to go home with and um, work on for when I am not there um, and just teaching them about emotional regulation which um, then helps them to build um, resilience. Uh, I, I just love working with young people. Okay, what I do for to look after my mental health is I do practice mindfulness, even though sometimes I feel really uncomfortable doing it. Um, and it just gives me that space to focus on my breath and how I'm breathing, how I'm traveling throughout the day, um, do that mental check-in, um, notice how my body is feeling. Um, and I, I like to go for walks, long walks in the bush or walks along the beach because I find the ocean so, so calming. Um, I love to go on long drives and look at the scenery. I kind of tune out and just recently I'm getting back into Pilates and yoga. So um, I'm finding that um, that is really good for the whole being present within my body and focusing on how my body moves and how my body reacts to stretching and um, I find it is very useful. I also try to get a lot of sleep which I find um, is really important especially as a person who does um, live with anxiety. Um, so I find that if I'm eating right, sleeping right and looking after myself that helps with my overall well-being. Okay, when my mental health is not going so well, I feel really tense all over my body and I'm very aware of my early warning signs, which is something is um, my body telling me that I need to act before I head down that spiral of feeling unwell. Um, so I use that as my cue to then practice the mindfulness. Um, I can be quite um, frustrated with things that don't normally up, uh, make me frustrated um, and then get a little bit snippy at times, um, which I'm sure is not that great for the people around me, but I try to um, then take myself away 
and to give myself that five minute break just to focus on my breath and what's going on around me. But um, sometimes it can come out of, as the form of a physical panic attack, which then it's um, trying to calm myself down and regulate myself in that moment, which is important for me to um, de-stress and regulate myself.